welcome to our new video. Today we'd like to introduce you to our dose and dose rate simulation device, the Dolmo Sim. And the nice thing about this piece of technology is that you can use it without any real radioactive sources. The dose rate values are presented in millisieverts or microsieverts per hour and the respective dose is presented in micro or millisievert. And now let's take a closer look to the Dolmo Sim. On the display you can see the dose and the dose rate at the same time. We can install all our firmware versions on the device, such as the F version for firefighters with warning threshold at 25 microsieverts per hour and with dose warning thresholds at 1, 20, 100 and 250 millisieverts or the normal version with flexible warning thresholds. The hardware differs a little bit from the standard device. We removed the Geiger Müller counter tube and replaced it with a radio receiver. A radio transmitter with a selector switch is used as a substitute for the radioactive source. Level 1 corresponds to an activity of approximately 15 megabecquerel of cesium-137. Level 9 equals approximately 7 terabecquerel of cesium-137. Or in other words, at the highest level you still have a dose rate of above 5 millisieverts per hour in more than 10 meters of distance. We even have the possibility to go into the overflow area, which is at the Dolmo, at above 100 millisieverts per hour. For exercises, we have come up with two different scenarios. For the first one, you need to place one or more radio sources in a damaged vehicle or in a destroyed building. The job of the emergency responders is to mark the restrained area around the source, for example, at 25 microsieverts per hour. You can also get different distances if you are shielding the radio source on the one side with some lead or steel plates. As a second scenario, you can prepare several packages with hazard labels for radioactive substances, such as this one. Please write down some transportation index between 0.1 and 0.9 and a nuclide such as cobalt-60 or cesium-137. Then you can position the gamma simulation source behind the boxes and change the position of the selector switch as you do like. The trainee has to compare the different dose rate readings on the Dolmo Sim with the calculated value at the distance of 1 meter. If the measured value is below the calculated value, total transportation index multiplied with 10 equals the maximum dose rate in microsievert at a distance of 1 meter from the boxes, the shielding is very likely not damaged, for example as a result of an accident. Of course you can make it even more complicated for the trainee if you use several boxes with different transportation values. So all in all, our Dolmo Sim is a perfect training device if you don't want to use real radioactive sources. Thank you for watching our video. If you want to find out more about this product, please visit our webpage nuviatech-instruments.com. Thank you for watching.